what's good people it is about 30 45 minutes before first light we're hiking in we're trying to get a good mile and a half in to where we'll have a good vantage point once we can see we rolled in about midnight last night so we're tired but uh we got up and and we're going we don't plan on staying here a long time it's kind of a stick and move we're hitting this spot we're hoping to see something or hear something go after it if not we're moving on um, because we've got idaho in our future that's it we're gonna get up the mountain and uh, we'll catch you guys once it's uh, a little light and we settle down to glass a little bit This wind is a little nutty, which in my experience means the elk are going to be mostly hunkered down and not feeding out in these openings like we need them to. And we're certainly not going to hear any bugles unless they're right on top of us. This is our Idaho trip. We're in Oregon. And I feel like we have enough time to give a day, day and a half of a shot in Oregon still have enough time to track down a bull in Idaho but our first stop isn't turning out so well so I think we'll just kind of tuck off the lee side over here see if it's a little less windy and maybe you know elk have congregated maybe there's some elk hold up over here gorgeous people is amazing I'm really happy too we got right about where we really wanted to be by first light I'm glad we're here regardless of the wind though it is a lot calmer on this side of the mountain so we're gonna go tuck up over this little rise over here where we can see some more country one thing we did to get out a little faster this morning is we didn't eat breakfast <clears throat> we brought it with us that way we could maximize our time by just eating up here while we're glassing so I think we're both about ready to make that happen try and tuck out of the wind enough to work our stove eat some food and cups of coffee we've had in a while solely for the fact of where we made it i'm glad we could get out of the wind a little bit here yeah we can see a lot of country if if elk are here we should be able to see at least a couple stragglers i mean it's calm enough over here that they should be out milling around if they're here they're here if they're not we go somewhere else there's an area we went to three years ago mm -hmm. on the last day of the Oregon season we had been just striking out we weren't getting into any elk we just picked the most random spot yep. and it's on our way to Idaho yeah like, just like hey pick a, pick a drainage and she did and we came over a rise and it was a little herd of elk four or five cows and a really nice five point that we got to put a beautiful stock on and we just missed and we got to about 50 yards we weren't filming it we just basically said fuck it let's go kill an elk yeah. we didn't want to deal with it we were brand new to filming we felt like it was gonna inhibit our chance of success and we were right it's done that plenty of times since then <laughs> but uh we we were just a little late getting there i think and he got down by the creek and the wind was swirling down there he caught a whiff and, and took his cows out of there we have not been back since. 
the roads around there are really terrible. It, it does feel like it's worth it. It does. So we're actually going to hike in there. If yep. we go over there, we're going to hike in instead of drive. All right, we're going to get to eating our food here. All right, time to switch spots. Right after we got up, we just hiked up 20 yards. I looked back and there were two bucks trotting down the ridge about 250 yards away. They dumped over too fast to get any footage of them. There's another deer. Busting out, it's gonna come out to the right there. That cow's chasing it. That was another just nice little small three. <laughs> this is strange. Also, I feel like there's a 50-50 chance they could have busted up the ridge right towards us. That would have been dandy. My goodness. It's breezy. We just popped up back over the ridge to the main trail just in time to see three hunters hiking out the trail in front of us, fully loaded for multiple days. I don't really have a mind to follow these guys out the trail and hope they miss whatever elk we would hope would be in the open. So we glass for a little bit. We haven't seen anything. So we're hiking out to the truck. We're gonna relocate. This does get us closer to Idaho which was part of the plan. So um, we got a, a net gain regardless of, of what happens. We'll catch you guys over there on some elk. Okay, it's been long enough. Yeah, we made it to our second spot. It's about five o'clock and we're slipping down this ridge into that area we've been before <clears throat> where we got on elk. We're gonna try and get to a point where we can see over into the timber where they were. That seemed to be a really rich bedding area. We're excited to be here. We haven't seen um, any elk yet. So we're excited to see some elk. so tricky being quiet coming down through there. We keep, you know, seeing new parts of this hillside and glass and we're not seeing anything yet. Haven't heard a bugle. Um, we'll get a much better view down here in about 30 yards or 100. As soon as we got back to the trailhead this morning, it was dead calm. We've been in the woods for 30 minutes. It was blowing just like it was this morning.
We're driving to Idaho. And it feels good. Put some time into Oregon. I mean, heck, I've archery hunted Oregon for eight or nine years. Killed a couple bulls here. It's been five years since I've killed a bull in Oregon. We've had a heck of a time finding anywhere that we can get into elk consistently, which is what we're after. Meanwhile, we've kind of figured out how to do that in Idaho, and it's fun. It is so fun to hunt elk and to be an elk and to see them, to hear them, to go after them. And so we put a lot of effort into Oregon this year because we wanted to fill our, you know, tags in Oregon and man these two hunts today were just dead we don't want to waste any more time during elk season we want to be on elk so we're going to Idaho we're gonna get there in the wee hours of the morning get up and glass in the morning hopefully get after some elk the thing about Oregon for us we love it, it doesn't love you back we love trying to find elk here. We love living here. We love hunting here. It doesn't love you back. So sometimes, you just gotta walk away. Uh, yeah, uh, the landscape uh, yeah, for sure. uh, looks so. It is 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> We rolled in about 10 minutes ago. Alicia's in here rolling the bed out. So we'll catch you guys in the morning. In the morning. Hey, what are you doing? Got my elk ears on. You look great. We woke up tired as can be, climbed out of the truck and we're getting our packs. say is we're having a hard time pinpointing him and he got quiet so I was about to cow call just to see if he would pipe off well I hope you could hear that but he just growled and uh, unfortunately he's he's on this tiny little chunk of private sounds. He's just bugling. Yeah. 
And so we're just gonna get back to our vantage where we can potentially see him and other elk. Try and find something we can go after and maybe he'll kind of move onto the hillside that's public. But I, I can't say I'm, I'm disappointed. We rolled out of the truck within five minutes. Alicia heard him pipe off and now I've been hearing him. It feels good. Go where the elk are. Can you guys hear that? It's the neighbors that just decided to sit next to us in glass. They just stomped up here, talking with elevated voices. No courtesy. We're still gonna get our work in. Well, we've been seeing some stuff. Hunters. A couple over here. A couple about to come up over here. No elk. We haven't seen any elk. We've heard an elk, but we can't go after him because he's on private. We did have breakfast. That was nice. But yeah, we're sitting out here in a beautiful spot listening to people talk. <laughs> Just have some courtesy in the woods. Like people are hunting. You have a better shot when you're not using your town voices. At least have some respect and keep it quiet. So yeah, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Probably figure that out in the next few minutes. Nothing to go after right now. Well, we knew uh, him getting over here last night or early this morning, really. And part of the deal on that is we're getting here in time to get a morning glass in, but also we owe ourselves a nap in order to stay, stay strong, stay in the game. So we did that. <clears throat> we're kind of sitting on the whole out to find out so we're back here where we were this morning we're gonna glass and we're gonna hope this bull comes back on the public we can get some eyes on him and hopefully make a play uh, minimally we're gonna kind of hopefully learn what is or isn't hanging out in the area to help us decide what to do tomorrow and we're just gonna have a nice evening if people show up they show up um, we're just gonna do our thing Hopefully the wind dies down and we find some elk. are dropping a little bit so that's nice and what's even nicer we spotted some elk way way over there three miles as a crow flies three miles i don't think there's enough time to get on them tonight but uh we have elk to go after and it's a cool spot too yeah i'm gonna keep an eye on them and see if i can tell whether or not they top over or stay in that upper basin. We've got more elk. At least one. Looks like a bull. 
but he's got his head behind a tree right now. Not nearly as far from us as the other elk. And he's even working closer right now, but we'll see. Figure out what he is, watch him, have fun. Idaho is rad. Elk are rad. We love seeing them, it's so fun. Goodness. He's laying in it. That's so rad. So we've got another bull on that hillside. It's pretty low light right now, really hard to tell, but it just looks like a nice satellite type bull. It's far enough that I wouldn't be surprised if it was a really nice six. Anyways, it seems to be by itself. Kind of headed in the same direction the other elk are, but it's, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of country between them. But this is great. Gives me a lot of confidence. We're gonna have something to go after in the morning. What's up? Just spotted another elk on, on this same mountain as that, that other herd we're watching. I had my eye on that spot tonight because I had a feeling there was gonna be some more elk over there. It's just too perfect. As you can tell, it's chilly. <laughs> The temps are dropping, but the wind chill is what's getting us. But we're gonna stay out here as long as we can see and figure out what direction these elk are headed. I think either way, we'll be back up here in the morning to try and see where they land. Because that was super helpful for us last year to know where to go. It'll really help with our strategy on where we go up, how we get there, and all of that. So we can't see much anymore. We've got the elk marked. And I think we'll have a good chance of finding them in the morning. So we're going to get back to the pickup, have some dinner, get a good rest because we're going to be going after elk tomorrow. That is exciting. Getting dinner cracking. Today wasn't exactly an exciting day for hunting. We thank you guys for watching anyways. It is part of hunting. We found elk. We're going after elk tomorrow. If you want to see us kill an elk, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and smash that notification bell. We really appreciate it. We're excited share that with you guys tomorrow and can't thank you all enough for watching along sticking with it even when it's tough and we'll see you guys on the elk mountains tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> night y'all